Arkansas, number 10 in the AP poll, they're no longer a dark horse team. They're not sneaking up on anyone anymore. Now, the Hogs are done with their 2023 class. They're ranked 16th nationally, 7th in the SEC with 23 commits. Steve, has Sam, Sam Pittman built this team to last? Well, they had a massive turnaround last year, winning nine games, winning the Outback Bowl, coming out strong, beating a, a really good Cincinnati team in the opener. I think what you, how you see this roster come together is that Arkansas, they really had a, a strong showing in the portal last year. Drew Sanders is obviously terrific. Matt Landers, Jaden Hazelwood, Dwight McGothern, Latavius Brini. Those are guys that balanced out Arkansas's roster. And if you look at it down the road, there's really not a lot of holes uh, so this is a recruiting class where I think that they were able to just recruit a balanced group and, and guys that they think can help elevate this program into 10 plus winner for years to come. And, and the first thing that stands out is this is the best tight end class in the country. Shamar Easter has all the traits to be the best tight end in college football down the road. Long, can run, can stretch the field, can be a big play guy at the position. Luke Haas is one of the most complete tight ends in the country. When you turn on his film and watch him block, he's just destroying people. Uh, but he can catch the football and move the chains. And then Jaden Ham is, is a blend of those guys uh, uh, from a skill set standpoint. And then you, you talk about the most important position on the field, quarterback. Arkansas went out and landed the guy that's perhaps the most perfect fit for them at the position in Malachi Singleton, who plays some of the best high school football competition in, in the country in the Peach State. He's tough. Uh, uh, can throw the ball downfield, uh, uh, can seize the field well, a good decision maker with touch, but he is dynamic as, as a ball carrier, runs like a running back, but can also make people miss. You put him in that Bryles offense, and I think he has a chance to be just as special as the guy that they have under center right now. And then playmakers, you know, Arkansas, they've been traditionally one of the best rush teams in the country under Sam Pittman. They were number seven last year, number eight early in the season this year. Uh, but I like the way that they recruited receiver in the 2022 class and now following it up with a guy like Micah Tease, who's dynamic and, and can make things happen, a touchdown waiting to happen when he touches the football. And then Davion Dozier, he's a six foot four wide out. There's not many in the country having as good a season as he is with 18 catches for 528 yards and seven scores. He's lighting up the scoreboard there. Uh, Isaiah Augusta is is a running back, a four-star running back from Florida who, who has high upside. And then Sam Pittman, when you talk about offensive line recruiting, he's the guy that helped build that room at Georgia. Him and Coach Kennedy, they like their players massive. They have four players committed that are well over 300 pounds that kind of fit what they're looking for along the line of scrimmage. They're recruiting defensive back at a high level, led by four-star Jalen Braxton, who can absolutely fly and has the speed to cover any wideout in the SEC moving forward. And then they got those linebackers, uh, Brad Spence and, and Carson Dean are two that I really like there. They have one more major target. It's Marcus Deal. He's maybe the best two-way lineman in the country from the Lone Star State. Arkansas is in the thick of that one alongside Georgia, who he's going to visit later this month. Texas, where he visited last weekend. And then you have Oklahoma and USC as the other contenders for Marcus Deal. But they'd love to land him to add to this class that's ranked number 16 nationally.